Wait, first, there's a fire on my caboose, and then I'm on couple for my trite. What the heck is going on? For the love of heck! Wait a minute, Casey. Did you just say there was a fire in your caboose? Um, yes, I did say that. I think I know who is behind this whole thing. It's the work of the fire guys. And the fire guys, Thomas? Yes, they're the most wanted group of teenagers in the entire world. People say they've been going around lighting fires in trains, houses, even schools. Well, we're not going to put a stop to this, and I know exactly how we're going to do. Well, then, how are we going to stop them? Oh, um, sorry, that was a lie. I couldn't actually come up with a plan. Then, they heard a whistle. It was Edward coming in with Casey's train. You guys, I think I know the greatest way to get the fire guys out of here. How? How? Oh, I'll tell ya. Meanwhile, at the station, there was some giggling coming from behind. <laughs> when the next train comes by, we're only going to light that fire in a freight car if he's got one. I'm sure. It's gonna be so funny, especially when the editing gets punished compared to the owner taking a hit of... Yes, this will be the best plan we ever had. Okay, fire guys unite! But then, they heard a whistle. Thomas was taking some freight cars down the line. When Thomas sped by the station, the fire guys quickly jumped into the freight into the last freight car. Then Thomas began to pick up speed. Then he cried out, Oh hell! The troublesome trucks are pushing me and I can't stop. Edward and Casey were waiting at the yards for Thomas. Then Thomas came rushing in with the truck. He bashed the buffers. The fire guys were piling out and landed right in front of Casey and Edward. Quick, let's beat it, cried one of the guys. I don't think so, fire guys, said a voice. You guessed it, it was the cops. You're under arrest. And now I'm going to tell you that you might be going to jail for the rest of your lives. Now get in the van. The fire guys were thrown into the police van and the cops set off. Then Sir Topham Hatt arrived. He spoke to Casey. Casey Jr., we'd be honored to have you as our circus train and for all your hard work, I'm glad that you're okay from these accidents, especially from the fire. And I'm very happy that the fire guys have gotten arrested. So anyways, we'd be honored to have you as our circus train. Oh man, thank you sir, I was born to pull circus trains. Last year I spent the whole year taking Dumbo to the circus. Anyway Casey, I heard the next circus will be coming this Saturday. So I'd be very honored to have you pull the circus train for us. Oh, thank you, sir. You're too kind. And so now, Casey Jr. usually takes the circus trains. And he really enjoys it. And he still loves taking it even though he has taken it once, or twice, or maybe a million bajillion times. And he and Edward still remain good friends.